Using products and services can be a real time saver when recording invoices and accounting. It can also help you keep track of stock levels if you use them. Let's look at setting up products and services in accounting. Before we create the records, we'll quickly set up the types of prices we use, selecting settings and record and transaction settings. We can set up the types of prices we use in the product prices section, changing the default names and adding more as needed. If we use services, we can do the same for them too. We'll save these changes and we're ready to enter our products and services. We select products and services and new item and are given the option of creating different types of items. These options are stock item. This allows you to track stock levels as you buy and sell items. Stock items are only available for accounting plus users. Non-stock items. These can be added to invoices and having them recorded is handy for adding them to invoices, but item levels can't be tracked. Service items. These, as the name suggests, are non-tangible items, such as labour and time spent on different jobs like installations or consultations. Again, item levels won't be tracked. We'll start by setting up non-stock and service items, as these are very similar. We select non-stock or service, enter the item code or short name for the item or service, then pop in the item or service description. We could at this point save the item or service and come back to it later, but let's enter our sales prices and the ledger account we want to post sales of the product to. If we often use the same supplier, we can record that here, as well as a cost price and the ledger account we want to record the purchases from. We can then enter any notes about the item or service for our own reference and click save. And that's our non-stock or service item created. If you use Accounting Plus and need to create a stock item, there are a few more steps, but it's not too difficult at all. Let's do that now. We select the type stock. As for service and non-stock items, enter the item code or a short name, then pop in the description. We could at this point save the item and come back to it later, but we'll enter our sales price and the ledger account we want to post sales of this product too. If we often use the same supplier, we can record that here, as well as the cost price, the ledger account we want to record purchases from, and because this is a stock item, we can then enter the reorder level and quantity. This allows accounting to alert us if we don't have enough items in stock. If you already have items in stock, we can enter this as an opening balance, recording how much it cost us, which is handy for valuing stock. If we need it, we can enter additional details, such as where it is stored, a barcode, or the weight of the item. But we'll just click save. And that's it, all done. For further information and more in-depth courses, visit Sage University at www.sageu.com.